It's the wee hours of the morning in Seoul, South Korea. Two young K-pop idols, unaware of the lurking danger, little do they know that the shadows conceal the eyes and ears of a hidden adversary, waiting to expose their every move to the world. In today's video, we'll unravel the twisted tale of Dispatch, unmasking the founders, the turning points that solidify their reputation, and the dark secrets that have made them K-pop's most hated news agency. So buckle up and brace yourself for a roller coaster ride into the depths of Korea's underbelly. The birth of Dispatch and the founder's story. The seeds of Dispatch's infamy were sown in 2011 by three ambitious Korean journalists who had already built successful careers in mainstream media. At its inception, Dispatch was merely an underdog, struggling to establish itself in the fiercely competitive world of Korean journalism. Kim Ji-ho, Lee Young-jin, and Lee Jin-ho were well-known investigative journalists covering subjects from politics to business. But soon, they grew tired of how sensationalism seemed to overshadow important news stories. So they sought to create a new kind of journalism, one that would give the Korean public an unfiltered view of their favorite celebrities' private lives. The founders' relentless pursuit of sensational stories, coupled with their tenacity in digging deeper than any other news outlet, would soon propel them to the forefront of the industry. But success, as we will see, often comes at a steep price. The Turning Points and Rise to Infamy the year was 2012, and Dispatch's first bombshell was about to explode. The story that changed everything was the expose of a secret relationship between two of Korea's most popular celebrities, actor Lee Seung-gi and Girls' Generation's Yuna. This unprecedented scoop, backed by photographic evidence, set up a frenzy in the K-pop community and catapulted Dispatch into the limelight. From that moment on, Dispatch would become synonymous with intrusive journalism, and over the years, Dispatch would continue to drop one bombshell after another, from secret affairs and drug scandals to tax evasion and hidden marriages. But it was in 2019 when Dispatch's reputation took a darker turn. In January, they exposed a chat room where several K-pop stars, including Seungri of Big Bang, were involved in illegal activities such as sharing explicit photos of women without consent and discussing prostitution. This scandal not only shook the K-pop industry, but also fueled public outcry against the predatory nature of Dispatch's reporting. Dispatch's reputation for scandal and controversy is well-founded. Among their most significant stories was the 2014 revelation of EXO's Baek Hyun and Girls' Generation's Taeyeon dating, which led to a strong backlash from fans and strained their careers. In 2018, Dispatch exposed singer Hara's turbulent relationship and alleged assault by her ex-boyfriend, igniting a fierce debate about the media's role in reporting on domestic violence. Legal and Ethical Implications Dispatch's provocative methods have led to serious questions about the legality and ethics of their actions. One of Dispatch's most notorious strategies is their relentless pursuit of celebrities, often stalking them to the point of invasion of privacy. The agency's operatives are known to track their targets for weeks or even months, gathering evidence through long stakeouts and covert surveillance. They've been known to hack into private social media accounts, tap into phone lines, and even bribe industry insiders to get the scoop on the latest scandals. South Korea's privacy laws, such as the Act on Promotion of Information and Communications Network Utilization and Information Protection, state that unauthorized use of disclosure of personal information can result in criminal penalties. However, dispatch's actions often blur the line between legal and illegal, exploiting gaps in the law to get and publish their stories. They've ruined careers, broken up families, and even driven some celebrities to the brink of despair. The tragic case of the late singer and actress Sully, who took her own life in 2019 after years of online harassment and scrutiny, has been partially attributed to Dispatch's aggressive reporting. This tragedy served as a stark reminder of the human cost of such invasive journalism. Moreover, Dispatch has faced accusations of bias and selective reporting. Critics argue that the agency often 
target specific celebrities or groups, while turning a blind eye to others. Some speculate that this may be due to behind-the-scenes alliances with powerful industry figures or even financial incentives to protect certain interests. Critics argue that dispatches' practices not only break privacy laws, but also raise ethical concerns. Their relentless pursuit of celebrities raises questions about the limits of journalistic integrity and the media's responsibility to respect individuals' privacy rights. Celebrities, their families, and even staff members live in constant paranoia, knowing that their every move could be captured and exposed by dispatch's ever-watchful eye. Some claim that dispatch's methods directly infringe on human rights, highlighting the need for strong regulation and legal protections for public figures. Public Opinion and Social Media's Role Public opinion and social media have played a significant part in Dispatch's ongoing success. People's hunger for scandal and gossip has fueled Dispatch's rise, with fans eagerly waiting for the next explosive revelation. This oppressive atmosphere has taken a significant toll on the mental health and well-being of many within the K-pop community. Social media platforms like Twitter and Instagram have amplified this effect, allowing rumors and scandals to spread rapidly, reaching millions of users in minutes. In this context, it's crucial to consider the role that fans and consumers play in perpetuating invasive journalism. As entertainment consumers, we must ask ourselves if our craving for gossip is worth the price of violating the privacy and well-being of our favorite celebrities. By acknowledging our part in this process, we can work towards creating a healthier environment for the K-pop industry and its stars. The story of Dispatch is a cautionary tale of ambition, power, and the dark side of fame. What began as an audacious venture by three determined journalists has evolved into a nightmarish force that holds the K-pop industry in its iron grip, leaving a trail of ruined lives and broken dreams in its wake. Will the K-pop industry ever escape the clutches of Dispatch? Or are we destined to remain enthralled by the scandals, secrets, and sensationalism that define this notorious news agency? Only time will tell if the truth can ever truly be set free. Regardless, one thing is certain, the story of Dispatch is far from over.